worried that they drank a lot of Pincon Spirits products. One of the two is true because the numbers have come in looking so good. EBITDA, EBITDA is up 52%. Revenue again, uh, top line up 32% or 31.5%. Uh, margin 6.8. Arup Thakur, CFO of Pincon Spirits joins us on the line. Uh, Arup, uh, these are excellent numbers. I mean, no impact of demonetization. Uh, your volume sales were just the same. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, the demonetization, we registered demonetization very successfully, very successfully this quarter. And uh, basic uh, parameters that we followed were strengthening of product mix. We expanded our market penetration and uh, strengthened our distribution channels. And to top it all, majority of our products are within 100 rupees pack size. So now, if you, uh, I mean, uh, we have analyzed our financials also. So in this quarter, 60% uh, sales uh, have uh, been contributed from product pack size of 100 rupees uh, and 100 rupees below. Uh, compared to quarter three of uh, 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 last year, it was uh, 51%. So in that way, we have been, we have been successful in uh, presenting our product because, as you popularly know, we are having majority of our products in the <clears throat> the, what you call is entry level and mid mid level segment, and that is our focus area. And our price band proposition is also um, uh, aimed at the mass. So in that way, the demonetization I mean, did not have much of an effect. What was the volume growth exactly in this quarter, and what is the expectation going ahead on volume fr on volume growth? Volumes in uh, uh, this entry level segment that is uh, below 100 rupees pack size uh, in this quarter it was uh, almost 60 percent of the total sales. And uh, uh, well, in uh, this thing, uh, quarter three of last year, it was hardly 51 percent. It was no. I'm, I'm asking you the volume growth that you saw between last quarter and now. Uh, volume growth in terms of in which segment you're saying? If you three level the entire so product. The, yeah, this the in, the entire product uh, and the uh, uh, yeah. And uh, entire uh, this thing volume growth was somewhere around you can say 45 to 48 percent. Oh wow! Okay. Over year on year, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about the realizations? I mean, uh, you hiked prices. What was the overall blended hike and uh, how much did that impact revenue? Well, uh, it has definitely impact on this price hike made by the government of West Bengal had a good impact uh, because in IML, uh, IM, IL, that is where we are the major player. Uh, so uh, the price hike had an impact of on, our, on our profitability close to somewhere around uh, incremental profitability of around uh, 5 to 6%. Uh, so uh, that has given us a good contribution and uh, good uh, uh, disposable funds for uh, going in for further expansion also. All right, uh, Mr. Thakur, we leave it at that. Thanks for joining us.